Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to air fry some fish, tilapia, in the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air fry oven. And we'll see how it does air frying fish. And let's get cooking right now. Alright, so to make this fried fish, let's go with the ingredients. I've got three large tilapia fillets. They're about one and three quarter pound, almost two pounds of fish there. I've got one ounce of Old Bay seasoning. I've got one ounce of lemon pepper seasoning. I've got one ounce of water, two large eggs. I've got one cup of yellow cornmeal and one cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my wet and my dry ingredients mixed, basically getting the water mixed into the eggs and getting these dry ingredients mixed up. So now I have my egg wash and my breading all mixed together. I've also got some cooking spray in the back that I'll be using to moisten up the breading before air frying. And you can do air frying different ways. The method that I use personally, I like to use a method. This breading and egg wash could be used in hot grease if you wanted to. But I do it in an air fryer. I just spray the exterior with a little cooking spray. And that helps give it a nice crisp that's similar to what you would get from a hot grease fryer but using an air fryer and you know others use other methods in other ways and you know if you want to use other methods that's up to you but this is the way that I do it and so you know if you want to do a total zero grease air fry that's up to you using your methods but I like this way you know I've used other methods and I come back to this as my personal preference and the amount of oil is minimal that you get in the air fry, minimal. So I've got my doing wet hand, dry hand technique, and I'm basically getting this fish now that it's been in the egg wash over into my breading. Gonna get this other one, let it start soaking a little bit in the egg wash, then I'll mix it up. But basically, going to get each piece of this fish egg washed and breaded now. So just getting this piece here fully covered because you want to get them both. We'll get both sides covered is what I meant to say. You want to get both sides covered well. So, getting that well covered like so. Now that this is well covered, I'm going to just set this over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for the other two pieces. Alright, so now I've got the fish all egg washed and breaded and so now I just spray on the cooking spray to give that moistness to the breading and I spray up both sides really well so I'm just going to go ahead and continue with spraying up both sides of this fish really well and as I'm spraying it I'm just trying to after I now that I flipped it trying to give each piece a little space in between for that airflow you want to, you know, with air frying, you want to be sure to give as much airflow as possible to each piece or things won't air fry over as well. So, just going to finish getting things sprayed over. Alright, so got everything all sprayed over nicely. And now I'm going to take the crisper tray or air fry basket, whatever you want to call it. Put it in on the third rack level up and close up the cooker, turn it on. Notice I have, I just wanted to mention, nothing underneath because what this type of air frying, there's not going to be a whole lot of excess fluids coming off of the meat and I'll even show you that after the cook. But I'm going to set my cooking temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. My cooking time, I don't think I'm going to need 30 minutes but I'm just going to set it out to 30 minutes because when it comes to air frying, like this, I like to cook until I see the texture that I like. I know the meat's going to be very well done by then, but my point is to get the texture on the air fry that I want. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and it goes through its quickie preheat, then it'll go ahead and cook. But I'll bring you back when things are looking good in there. Alright, so I've let things cook for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And I'm going to open on up now, and you see a 
we've got a waft of smoke. There wasn't any smoke coming out during the cook at all. Just the smoke when I opened up. And I'm going to check temp with my thermopen. So let's see. Yeah, that one is real hot. And the other ones, I'm sure, you know, they're all well done. So, like I said, things were going to be really well done. I wanted to get that le level of crisp that I'm seeing right here now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get these off and put them onto a plate or something. You can see, well, I'll try and let you see the flip side of that one. You can see it's, you know, well air fried on the back side. Whoops. And you see I kind of broke that one open. You can see it, it opened kind of moist. So, not kind of moist, it's moist. So, nice moist air fried fish. Going to get this other one over here on plate. And I'll put this one here. So let me get up under it. But everything turned out very nicely. So there we go there. And I'm going to give you a closer view of this piece here. Have a look at that. 20 minutes, 400. Nicely air fried without having to swim literally in grease. And so, you know, I think that turned out nice. You can see the air fry basket, you know, you got a little residue on there, but not a, not a whole bunch, not much. Now I want to show you the drip pan, so that you can just kind of see how much there was. There was some dripping down on there, but not a whole lot, but some, not enough to cause any excessive smoke issues or anything. I think that anything that did drip, drip onto the uh, heating elements will burn off on its own. And that might be what was causing the smoke that occurred, but nothing that was too much of a problem. And not having anything underneath helps to give everything a nice, more rounded air fry overall than having anything impeding any airflow in any way. And helps to ensure that we get things done efficiently for air frying. And so now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of use the butter knife here and just kind of get my piece. Get my piece off there for taste testing. There we go. So we'll just go with that. It's a pretty big bite, but we'll give it a try. And so let's do a taste test. So there we have our nicely fried fish. I mean, it looks really nice, golden brown. So let's taste. Thank the Lord for some tasty fried fish. I'm telling you, that, you could serve that up to anyone, they wouldn't know where it came from. They wouldn't know if it came from an air fryer or a deep fryer. They would not know. And that's what I like about that. You know, that's just like you would throw in a deep fryer, but it didn't come from a deep fryer. And so, real good job by the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Fry Oven. Did that air fried fish like a champ. And I definitely like and will enjoy that. And so, with all that said, in the video description, lots of ways to help this channel. You can get my new cookbook in there. There's a link to that. You can get, uh, like, basically the cooker. There's a referral link. Pay the same price. Help this channel. Also, if you want to donate, there's donation links there. You know, you could use, like, PayPal or Patreon or something. But, uh, basically, lots of ways to help down there. Also, you can find recipes on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com. There'll be a link in the video description to the printable version of this recipe. And with all of that said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that notification bell, and good eating.